Hello, in that video I'll show you my new laser engraver NJ Master 2. I already reviewed NJ Master 1, so if you miss review about that machine you're welcome to check. You can find the link here into video text or into video description below. I tell you this because NJ Master 1 and 2 are almost the same, so in that video I'll not make a complete review, but just expose the differences. Let's start with unboxing. I got huge box for that small laser, so I must show you that best packaging I ever got. When I open first box I can find protective paper and another packet wrapped into thick strong plastic foil. After remove that foil I come to another box, and after open that box I come to protective foam insert wrapped into lot of stretch foil. And inside of foam is my new laser master 2. Into packet we find everything we need to start using the laser engraver. Short and clear manual, accessories bag, laser model in my case 20 watt, pre-assembled y-axis with electronics, safety glasses, power supply and pre-assembled x-axis. Laser model is the same as on AJ1. Accessories bag contain all the tools we need for the machine, USB cable, focusing glass, paper, wood and anodized aluminium keychain testing piece. I take 20 watt version, so there come 12 volts 3 amp power supply. But let's go to the point now. Before I assemble the machine I will check the main difference between AJ1 and AJ2, its motherboard. After unwrap front and rear legs I remove motherboard from boot and graver, so you can see them closer. We can see here the upper one is from NJ Master and lower one is from Master 2, which is just a bit longer because of Bluetooth antenna. We can notice also some connectors missing on new board, but I think we'll not miss them. Old board got free plug for laser port, safe K port, additional fan port and from backside another port for Z axis. We can see that old board got 3 stepper drivers and Master 2 got only 2. Otherwise the boards are quite similar. We got power supply and USB plug button for offline control, NJ and Atmel microcontroller, stepper motor drivers, gyroscope for safety protection and so on. From backside we can see the Y limit switches and LED diodes, showing us power supply, working mode for NJ or GRBL controller, safety activations and NJ2 got one more for Bluetooth connection. What about the machine frame? Also there are some tiny improvements. NJ1 can engrave 15 by 15 cm with NJ microcontroller or 60 by 16 cm in GRBL mode. New Master 2 got 17 by 17 cm working area in any mode. So we can see that the Y axis is about 10 mm longer, but the X axis are the same length. They got another centimeter of working area with carriage shape. Second thing I notice is that all the Philips screw are changed with hex head screw and I like that. Belt on Y axis is attached a bit different. On AJ1 is the blocker inside of profile groove, on AJ2 belt grow to the rear leg and it's clamped under the base screw. Y carriage plate is a bit bigger, they are a bit more material and it feel much more stiff. Legs is made out of single piece of acrylic, on AJ1 got legs assembled out of two acrylic sheet. On AJ1 is self adhesive legs, so if you move on the table without lifting we can lose them, but on AJ2 they make grooves or rubber legs or stay on its place. On AJ1 got all 7 wheels with groove, but also on AJ2 got grooved wheels, but 2 on Y axis where the belt running car without groove, some kind logic, but so far didn't got problem also with AJ1. And there are some other tiny improvements, like all the pins got screwdriver slot, they had some safety nuts, print AJ on belt and so on. On front leg we can find two more warning stickers, but still don't understand why they don't engrave NJ logo on them. Before assemble I noticed that Y belt is a bit loosened, maybe with reason, so it won't stretch before you use the machine. Then assemble engraver in few steps, plug the laser cable, attach and tie the Y axis, secure the cable with zip ties, screw on the laser model and plug the cable, that's it. Ok, now the software, prepare the PC and plug the engraver to power supply and USB cable to PC. Then go to NJ wiki and click NJ Laser Master 2. And here you got everything you need, 
It's so nice described that every beginner can easily start using the machine. As I said, the biggest pros of Neji 2 is motherboard. I call them the king of connectivity, because on Neji Wiki we got described how to use them with 4 different softwares. I tried them and all of them it connect without problem. First of all we need to install the driver, so the PC will recognize them, but I already got installed from Neji 1. And then I firstly checked the Neji Windows application. When the software is downloaded just run them, it's bootable version so we don't need to install them. While connecting they ask us if we want to upgrade machine firmware. We just to click and few seconds later we got newest firmware, but then we can't connect to older software anymore. But they upgrade software very often so there's no need to use older version. We got 6 steps here. First one is tutorial which is basically Neji Wiki. Second one is photo gallery. Photos change here constantly, so if you like some photo, quickly right click on them and add to favorites, so they save in third tab my collection. Into fourth tab we can control the machine. Here we can load the image, g-code and insert text, in scray mode or g-code mode, which is awesome function they add to the software. After we choose text or image we can cut them in next step, and then set size and the one of presetted type of engraving where still can set the brightness. In the next step we can rotate or flip the image, add text and so on. And when we set everything we need to locate the image. After we click framing laser start moving and show where the image will be engraved. Here we can set the position and even how fast the laser framing the object. Now set laser power and burning time and click play, but don't forget to set focus. I really like that software because we don't need to install them, it's really easy and clear to use, offer us engraving or cut text, g-code, nc files, dxf files and also offer us online g-code for cutting. Really handy software, but I don't explain everything because it's really easy to use. Next software I try is Bandbox, it's free, downloadable direct from Neji Wiki, but we need to install them. I just make a quick test. We can import photo files or drawing direct into Bandbox, but honestly that software does offer us enough that the installation will be worth. I can't even set a size of photo, all we got is that ruler on X and Y axis for orientation. The same is with drawing, no measures at all. It's a new software and need many updates to become useful. I tried that software because a Neji machine is default bandbox firmware. If you want to work with GRBL or light burn software we need to change the firmware. But don't worry, Neji make a special software to change the firmware with only few clicks. So go to Neji wiki and download the Neji GRBL uploader. Click connect and then just choose firmware you want to upload on your machine. I choose GRBL 1.1F and a few seconds later it's ready to connect with laser GRBL. It's free software which works just fine, but I don't use them because we only can engrave photo files here. So far no NC or DXF files can be imported. And if you want to change laser power or speed we need to import photo again and set all the parameters. Pretty annoying and a lot of clicks. But also here in GRBL I need to go into GRBL configuration and change the Y axis direction and increase some speeds because it's work really slow. And then I try them also with Lightburn. That software cost 40 bucks, but offer us really a lot of function, also to work with more serious machines. But I got troubles with connecting. It can't connect to an AJ until I uncheck auto homing on startup function, then it connect without problem, and I try homing the machine, but instantly get an error 5. I play a bit with firmware configuration, but my knowledge about that is far too small, so I didn't spend too much time and just homing X and Y axis manually. But all other functions work, because I changed the Y axis direction into GRBL before I need to change here once again. I think there is just a small understanding between machine and light burn. Someone with knowledge will fix that without problem I think. But for the rest of us we need to wait a bit so the Neji fix GRBL uploader with proper settings. Based on that how often Neji update their firmware and software I believe that they fix pretty soon. Otherwise that's an awesome software, we got here really a lot of settings, also the one we got no idea they exist. 
I don't know that software elf, but here on YouTube we got lot of videos with the explanation. I love that software because one awesome function, cat design. We got tools and measures here, so we can draw something right here, and don't use additional expensive cat software. Of course you can easily repair the DXF files, that's awesome. I prepared a plain puzzle for cutting, so the glue need to be same size as wood thickness. So I just draw a line inside of glue and I got measure of them. Then just scale entire DXF file until I got that line same dimension as wood thickness. Yes, that easy it is. But let's make that software few step before all competition. Layers. We got here 30 layers, and for each layer we can choose different settings. In that plane for example I got some lines just to engrave and other for cutting. So I just select all lines I want to engrave and mark them as second layer. Sure we can add some text, lines or whatever we want. Then just set power speed and other settings for each layer. In my case I set blue layer on 30% and black layer to 100% laser power. Then start the machine and make it everything in one go. Firstly engraving line and then cut out the pieces. But of course we can set just everything. So far I tried 3 different Windows software, there's also iOS softwares, but I don't own Apple products, so I can't make a test. But I can test one more thing, NAJ Android application. I didn't find them on Google Play, so I need to go on NAJ Wiki and download the direct from there. Before install I need to change settings, so the phone allow installation apps from unknown source. Then plug the laser power supply, turn on Bluetooth and location, otherwise it won't connect with the laser. I don't know why, but many Bluetooth gadgets want location turned on, otherwise it won't connect. After we connect the application with the laser, it's pretty same as Windows NAJ application. We get here all the functions, like on PC, we can choose from online photos, photos on our phones, or direct from camera. Everything we can set, scale and cut photos, change brightness, contrast, add text or of course engrave only the text. We got access to settings, pause button, temperature feedback and everything. Just like on PC we can live change laser power and burning time. And I was amazed how fast it responded. It almost without delay. When I press pause button, laser stop immediately. Just like on PC and AJ app also there work movement protection. It's an awesome application, everything works just like it must, so you don't even need a PC now for that machine. I just forget to try an NC and AXF files, but I think it's got no sense to use them on phone. That's it about NAJ Master 2 laser engraver. I want to expose the improvements of second version into that video. So you can see that NAJ with two different microcontrollers can work with lot of different softwares. Also the Bluetooth and their app seems very useful. If you got some text or photo to engrave, we can do that on Fastway without using the PC. But I still prefer NAJ software for engraving and Lightburn for cutting and DXF repairs. My opinion is that NAJ make big step with that motherboard, but forgotten one thing. It still work on 8-bit. If NAJ develop 32-bit motherboard with all that options of connectivity, they leave all the competition behind. I got also Orto laser, which is much faster because of 32-bit motherboard. But every time use NAJ, because it's much faster to prepare and start working, thanks to their application. I know you want to see some result of engraving and cutting, but as I said, laser model is same as an old version. So for result of engraving and cutting capacity, air assist and other thing, please check my other videos. Here I just make a few more photos of maximum dimension. If you got any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section, and I'll try to answer. I hope you got some useful information you're looking for. Thanks for watching, like, share and subscribe if you like and see you next time.